Hello everybody, my name is Dimitar and with this video I will try to show you how you can use Monte Carlo simulation for predicting the delivery time for your next project. I will go pretty quickly through the slides and focus on how to simulate project delivery time using Monte Carlo simulation in Excel. So first a quote from Deming, management is prediction. Theory of knowledge help us to understand that management in any form is prediction. High-level planning is planning the initial budget and also the range of the time frame for a project. It does not include detailed project plans. This will be developed later. Management has to plan in order to make sure they have the financial means and the resources for, for all the projects the company has. We don't plan in detail what is not absolutely necessary to plan. The short-term details, like the scheduling, are done based on the immediate needs and capabilities. And we look on these schedules as the execution of the high-level plan. Here we propose a probabilistic approach for preparing high-level plans. Based on existing historical statistical data collected about a software development organization or a team, we can make predictions that could be used for planning our new projects. Uh, you can check the slides yourself uh, here, especially the Z-curve, please pay attention to it, to the three legs of the Z-curve, and but I will go directly to the Excel simulation. So this is the algorithm that we will be following, the first two parts which are uh, collecting tag time data for each of the Zcurve flex of a baseline project and then using Monte Carlo simulation to generate average tag time distribution or SEP for each of the Zcurve flex and then store them for future use. Uh, those two items are uh, covered in my previous video. So please go and check uh, I did uh, show them uh, in detail. Here we will focus only on uh, simulating a new project. So we uh, we uh, will have uh, the uh, tag time distribution at hand already simulated and just use it. So uh, first here is the baseline project and for the baseline project uh, we have uh, the the distribution for the first leg, for the second leg and for the third leg of the z-curve. They can be found into this uh, sorry, to this file. Uh, this file, uh, the link to this file is in the details uh, for this video. You can download it and check it uh, yourself. So the file contains for the, the project itself, the baseline project itself. The most important part of the data about this project uh, is here, the, the delivery rate. Uh, and then based on, the, uh, on this uh, delivery rate, uh, we, we, uh, we have the, uh, the tag, uh, tag time distribution uh, gen already generated. So here you can see the, the three legs of the Z curve for this particular project. It's visible that the first leg, uh, the delivery rate was uh, was uh, like the delivery was slow and then it, it went uh, quite fast and then again slower. So for the first leg of the Z curve, the data, the average tag time distribution is here uh, in, on this sheet and in this column. I will not stop uh, and waste time here f how it, it is calculated. Again, it, it is covered in, uh, in my previous video. Then for the, for the, for the second leg of the z-curve, we have the same. Uh, the distribution of the average tag time. And then we have the distribution for the average time, tag time for the third leg of the z-curve as well. So what we will be doing, sorry, having these distributions uh, for a new project, 
which is uh, for the same client, a Fortune 500 staffing company, for the, uh, done by the same development organization using the same technology, will have to predict the delivery time. We will be simulating this new project, as you will see 20,000 times using Monte Carlo. So after after analysis and the, the team uh, uh, was, uh, breaks down the requirements uh, into st stories and then adds uh, work items for duct meta and failure load and then uh, the team uh, decides that uh, 12 stories will, will be delivered in the first leg of the z-curve, 70 stories will be delivered in the second leg of the z-curve and 18 stories will be delivered in the third leg of the z-curve. So how we will be simulating this the, the new project? W what we'll be doing is that we will be simulating delivery of 12 work, it work items during the first leg of the z-curve plus 70 work items during the second leg of the z-curve and 18 work items during the third leg of the z-curve. That will give us the time needed to deliver the project. Let's go to uh, to the Excel file again. So in the second Excel file uh, named high level project planning, which again uh, the link is in the description of this video, we will be simulating the new projects. Here in this table we have all the data that we need. We have the distribution of the average stack time for the first leg of the z-curve, for the second leg of the z-curve here, and for the third leg of the z-curve. In this column uh, uh, we will be simulating the, the, the project 20,000 times. Like you can see here, we have uh, 1,000 records for uh, uh, each of the Z-curve legs, but we will be simulating the project 20,000 times here. And based on the simulation, uh, we will be generating the, the uh, histogram. And based on the histogram and the simulation, we will find uh, the median delivery time, the average delivery time and the 85th percentile which will be the delivery time that we, we will uh, plan uh, against. We will be using the 85th percentile as our delivery plan, uh, delivery time and uh, here we can see the distribution of the simulated delivery time. How we actually simulate the new project. Uh, if you check the presentation again, so let me get back. So the delivery time of the project is uh, can be calculated by uh, summing up the duration of the first leg of the z-curve plus the s duration of the second leg of the z-curve plus the duration of the third leg of the z-curve. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll be simulating this sum of the three legs 20,000 times. Uh, according to the formula into the, into the presentation, here is the formula. So the, the average delivery time uh, can be calculated uh, by uh, by summing up the, the the duration of the first leg of the z-curve, the second leg of the z-curve, and the third leg of the z-curve. Again, back to Excel. And here is our formula. The first leg of the z-curve uh, is simulated by selecting at random one of the 1000 values from this column, the average tag time, and multiplying it by the number of work items that will be delivered during the first leg of the z-curve. And here is the formula. The formula is here 20,000 times, but that's the first, that's the first leg of the z-curve. 
Then for the second left of the C curve, we do the same. We we pick at random one of the thousand values for the average tag time for the second leg of the Z curve from here and multiply it by the number of work items that we uh, we predict will we assume will be delivering uh, during the second leg of the Z curve and then for the third leg of the Z curve we do the same we pick at random one of the 1000 values from the distribution of average tag time for the third leg of the Z curve and multiply it by the number of work items that will be delivered during the third leg of the Z curve. We run it uh, 20,000 times here in this column, as I said, and we end up with a histogram of the results. So let me run it here. What we are interested in actually is the median delivery time, the average delivery time, and the 85th percentile of the delivery time. And here is the shape of the distribution. Uh, but we are not that interested in the shape, we are interested in the values. The shape, as you can see, uh, um, based on the simulation, actually the shape changes. Every time we run it, it, uh, it, it has a slightly different shape. But these three values, the median, the average delivery time and the 85th percentile, they stay the same. So let me run it. You can run it by going to formulas. First check here, calculation options menu, and then just hit calculate sheet and it's running and you can see so the median is 77 days the average is 78 days 85th percentile is 90 days so it, this time the shape looks like that and then we run it again and the shape might probably change yeah the shape is changing but the median the average and the 85th percentile they stay the same what's changing and what's changing the shape is the mold we don't use the mode here, so it's 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 just a it's just a note for you, but uh, it's uh, it's 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 not it's of no importance. The mode is of no importance for pre for high level planning here. So again, hit calculate. The modes again changed, but the median, the average delivery time, and the 85th percentile actually are the same. And if we go back to the slides. Uh, yeah, that's what we did, and here is the result. So the 85th percentile for this project is 90 days. So if we run the same project like seven times, seven times in a row, six out of seven, we will we will uh, hit this uh, delivery time of 90 days. And that's the the value that we will be using for high level planning and communicating to our clients, the 85th percentile. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, please uh, download the Excel files, uh, put your data in them, uh, run the simulation and see uh, what will happen. And please uh, uh, ask questions if, if, uh, if you, you have some. And uh, my hope is that uh, you will start using this approach for high-level planning uh, your projects. Thank you very much again and bye.